conference is motivated by producing knowledges on Africa at the highest levels uh, of excellence. So for that, I want to thank uh, Toin Falola personally, but also the committee that organizes the Toin Falola conference for allowing USIU Africa to host this very important conference. So fact publications rely on the energy of those who host the conference because the publishers are waiting for them. Sometimes when they don't have energy, then the publications suffer. What I was telling one of the um, organizers, very active gentleman from Belgium, is that our people, our various scholars, if you don't get in touch with them very quickly, they think you are not publishing them, and they take the papers to other venues. My message this morning is fourfold. The first is that empirical evidence points to African agency that is abundant in the international space and dynamic. The second is that African agency is rarely acknowledged because of a combination of disciplinary restraints, or if you like, constraints that we place on ourselves or that discipline places upon us, as well as episodic appropriation. And the word appropriation, appropriation is going to come over and over again as I try to at least um, help us put evidence on the table from my own perspective of appropriation from time to time of African agency by other uh, actors across the world. Thirdly, rapid change will compel a rethink of African agency, but African scholars must unleash their discursive power uh, if we want to stem the tide of ep episodic appropriation. Finally, rethinking African agency means that we have to rethink certain adjacent concepts. Those who matter most are not even speaking overtly. If we do not look for the answers by looking beyond that that is presented to us, by looking beyond the official places where people are interacting and making demands openly, we might actually, in a sense, be sustaining the very uh, inequalities and inequities that create the kind of continent in which our agency is hijacked, uh, appropriated, almost always.